Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about Seth Curry's newest budget shoe with Under Armour, the Curry 307. So the retail price is 85 US dollars, and it is an actual budget shoe. Should be available on their website in most regions. I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Um, so there's obviously his main signature line, where at the Curry Flow 10, the 11 is about to come out. Mid-tier, they also have the Curry Hover Splash 3 at 100 bucks, which you can tell from the name, it uses their hover cushioning. And then there's this shoe, at the lowest price tier, but with a full-length Micro G midsole. And to give you a reference, last year I put its previous version, the Curry 306, as one of my top two budget shoes from the entire year. Yeah, coming off of a strong model, can this one even top that? Let's get right into it. Just like his other budget shoes, they come in a cardboard Curry brand box. The main signature line comes in a shiny or glossy box, but there's that. On a first look, I would say the overall shape hasn't changed much. I once again got fooled by Under Armour's rendered product images online. Well, maybe I didn't look at it carefully. I was going for an all-white shoe, but on this colorway, the upper is really a gray color. The materials are a standard mesh. It feels pretty soft in hand. Nice curve shape. Similar to the previous version, interior padding is sufficient, and the heel shape sticks up pretty high at the back. I'm actually loving the color tone. Light gray with a white missile that has some gray speckles on there. You got curry on the heel tab, and technology featured on this shoe is Micro G. To me, it's so underrated in terms of comfort and responsiveness, which we'll get into soon. They changed up the also and traction pattern with kind of like a radial pattern this time that spreads out. And if you're thinking about outdoor use, they feel okay in hand. My guess is that it should be all right. And one more thing to point out, they might not look like a lightweight shoe, but in fact, they're pretty light at about 410 grams for size 10 and a half. On feet, you do get some decent speed and agility. No excessive weight slowing you down at all. As to how the Curry 307 performs on the court, a cushioning remained at a high level for this price range. The full-length Micro G missile is really one of the best setups you can get below 100 bucks. No stiff feeling on feet. You get a nice little feedback, and the transition is very smooth thanks to the curve shape. No crazy compression, but underfoot cushion and impact protection are pretty good, really. Traction to me was even better than the 306. Uh, the 305 and 6, even the Hover Splash 1 and 2, they all pretty much use the same traction pattern. And in general, they work well, but can be slippery on dust sometimes. This also, however, on my usual dusty court, I was able to get to a hard stop consistently. So traction performance, I say it had a slight improvement. Dust pickup was moderate. With the fit, this is a very standard true to size fit. I wouldn't recommend going up or down this time. Just go true to size, it should be right on for you. If you have wide feet, I feel like the fit is pretty forgiving. Average width, but the materials are a soft mesh. And from my experience, there was no discomfort caused by any part of the upper. On hard lateral movements, my feet are contained pretty nicely inside. So in other aspects, this shoe really gets it done too. They're not heavy, not bulky, also not stiff. I think this shows that using a standard mesh upper is honestly better than throwing some plasticky materials on there. That feels cheap, you know. Overall, I think this is an S-tier budget shoe. One of the best options you can get under 100 bucks. $85, plus some possible discounts later on. I think this is amazing value for its price. But let me know how you feel about them. If you end up getting a pair, please feel free to share with us your experience down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.